No Way Home concept art dropped this week, revealing that America Chavez was supposed to be in this movie. And I assume the catalyst for multiversal stuff, because we knew Doctor Strange was supposed to come out before this one. Yes. So obviously plans change, characters get swapped around, yada, yada, yeah, yada. Yeah. So I don't know about yeah. anyone else. I'm kind of glad she's not in No Way Home. Yeah. I feel like that might have been yeah. a bit too much. You have, you know, five legacy villains come in, or not legacy villains, but, you know, old characters, nostalgia characters come in, yeah. and then you introduce a new one into this one. Yeah, I'm like, here's, well, here's what I think it was good that they swapped America out for uh, Strange. I think Strange, even though they could very easily serve the same function. Having Strange there, you have an established character who, like, we're familiar with. Like, like incredibly familiar with between his movie, Thor, Ragnarok, mm. Infinity War and Endgame. We have mm. such an eye, like, like, an all, like, we already are so familiar with Strange that you can do what No Way Home does, where he helps get the plot moving. And then you can do whatever bullshit you need to, sorry, to just bump mm. him off the board. Yeah, because uh, and then just from? come back when he's convenient to come mm. back. If you do that with a brand new character and sideline her, uh, it sideline America. I think you immediately do a lot of damage to like. Well, then what's the point mm. of having her here? Because yeah, like from the concept art, she was the one that was gonna be what well, using magic as well, trying to get the villains back to where they're supposed to be. Yeah, so. I was also going to say that I, I was going to assume that that was what the writers brought up. They was like, oh, there's going to be another character who's going to bring the other Spider-Man. But it was like, we're not going to say who it was. I was like, so it was America Chavez, especially after looking at the concept art. I was like, you put two and two together. It was like, oh, well, OK. Oh, oh uh, it wasn't just going to be this other Spider-Man. It was Venom was going to be one of the villains, too. Yeah, they so, cut him out of the movie. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so we got so we got <laughs> something else wrong. No, thank God. Yeah. I I have mixed opinions on that one. I'm disappointed that they bumped Tom Hardy out of the MCU, but I can't say that I was disappointed he wasn't in it either. But he's not fully bumped out. He left some good Eddie Brock is bumped out. Obviously, the <laughs> stayed behind a little bit, but but we can have a variant Eddie Brock, and it's Tom Hardy. I'd be okay with that. Two I Tom Hardys. Yeah, why not? You the amount of money that would make. People would love a bit yeah. of Tom Hardy. Just, you know, just give him a different haircut. There you go. Yeah. Topher Tom Grace is... could like. Like you make him. Thing. You make him keep the really weird voice that he does. That's you have him. Yeah. You have him. No, no, it's not. Tom Hardy <laughs> doesn't stand, sound like that. I will stand by that. It's does. Tom Hardy's normal voice. No. Oh, so he's in interviews. Tom Hardy's like playing a character. But whenever he's, he's playing Eddie, he just, he feels so safe. He can just talk like he thinks he normally does. It's, it is terrifying. I don't know what wow. he's going through. Trying to imagine him so, doing an interview. <laughs> I I like wish he's here in the room. <laughs> I wish Tom Hardy just talked like that all the time. It's so funny. Oh, he it's, Tom Hardy's a squeaker. He's very high pitched. I spent the entirety of both Venom movies laughing just every time Eddie opens his mouth because he sounds like that for some reason. Yeah. yeah, well, hopefully keep America's original origin instead of what they're doing currently, which is just a big headache in and of itself. I mean, Multiverse of Madness seems to be keeping it. Yeah, yeah because America Chavez is originally from a different universe. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but if you're reading what they're doing to her now to synergize her with what's happening, uh, it was all in her head. Oh. <laughs> what? Yeah. Oh, oh no. Yeah. Is this is like is this like the Green Goblin and and Gwen Stacy thing all over again? It was yeah. all in Goblin's head. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I forgot. Why why did you bring that up? Hey man. Because <laughs> they, have, they have to they have to synergize. Man. Of all things, of, of all things. Oh yeah, remember that time Goblin and Gwen? Like, oh, please yeah. don't. That would have been the plot for Tasm Three. I don't know. No, oh, it would have been. <laughs> it's even weirder because the head in the jar, just like. Oh. Ugh. 
Yeah, that, that, that's why I was. That's why I was wondering because well, what they have now is that you know it was all on her head. I don't think they're gonna do that. Multiverse of Madness is all in her head. That would be hardcore. Well, well, no, probably not that part, but the whole um, from a, from a universe that's completely different from um, you know this version of Earth should be from another version of Earth, but she's. Uh, like, like so, she's, she, she's not originally from an earth is she it's like an no, entire paradise reality yeah uh, sub reality yeah. thing like yeah. alien type thing yeah mm. she's just she just uh so it just so happens that she looks like an earthling mm. but yeah that's what they're yeah, doing. <laughs> I, i'd be interested to see the timeline where multiverse madness came out first and if it had her introduction in it because if she was still supposed to be introduced in that movie and then No Way Home comes out and then she does the, the portal thingy magic, whatchamacallit, uh, it might have been okay. But as it stands right now, it's like, yeah, she didn't need to be in No Way Home with whatsoever. That's just my take on it. I agree. I agree. I, again, I think it would have I think it would have pulled a lot of uh, unwanted criticism that i think you can sidestep by having it be strange instead of america and ned i think it works yeah well as well and his little hobgoblin right. colors right. would that count as a legacy villain ned it wouldn't mm-hmm. work uh, if you, like, like I said, if you want to get technical, yeah, but most likely not. Like if he less. picks up the glider and the mask and <laughs> changes colors would that count he, yeah, he trips on like honey. The, he trips on like some chemicals. He was like, oh, oh. crap. He was like, I am the goblin. Because there's no Oscorp there, so. Yeah, he's like, oh, I'm sorry, Peter, but the chicks love the goblin. No. He was like, damn. He was like, damn, the pollution Actually, how the can water. he talk to Pete? He doesn't remember who he is. You remember? Um, goblin learns it eventually. And, I mean, Peter that, has Palpatine's. The this Palpatine is a, this story. is a complete sidestep because I'm I'm interested in that. If someone yeah. saw his face now, they wouldn't know mm-hmm. who Peter Parker is. It's yeah. Like, oh, hey, Spider Man is just some kid. Yeah. yeah. It's just yeah, some kid named Peter. But would they know he's Peter? Like, does Peter even exist anymore? Like, the um, name? That's um, a great question. Seeing as he has to get his GED now, I'm pretty sure he's uh, just. From what people have said, depending on how how it's viewed. He does exist, but he's not on any record. Like he, he, like he does exist, but like he doesn't have any current records being at like school or anything, because he would he would have to he would have to be around to actually even get a GED or even a uh, an apartment because he needs he need a paper trail to get an apartment in most places. Yeah, yeah the writers true. called it the writers. <laughs> brought it up they said it's like the back to the future concept remember when marty mcfly would like this like his parents would like disappear or if he starts to disappear from the picture yeah is that that's the concept that they brought up so he exists he still exists they said anything regarding spider-man has all still has happened he just it's just that people won't remember him taking off the mask like everything that he has done has stayed but him being in the school is pretty much non-existent because everybody knew that he was literally Spider-Man. So, but yeah. his records, his records is still like there. I mean, in New York, yeah. I, I'm just saying they they already got they already got your blood oath. So I don't know, <laughs> if, <laughs> I don't know how he would be avoid you know, how he would have avoided that. But uh, yeah, he he he's still on record, just not the records of him. Like, oh, he was Spider-Man. So if they put two and two together, they yeah, yeah. they get they have to get that headache saying what. <laughs> but yeah, that's that's what what is coming up, and that's why people are even that with um, does it you know does it pertain to just Peter of you no know, the MCU or does it go back to you know the Raimi verse and the Tazzle I think it's just here? the MCU. See, stuff. I, I I like that question because it's it, the spell fractures the multiverse. So it's yeah. not just an inherent this one universal thing. If it was, why would it fracture anything? Yeah, that's. that's I know that's, it's magic, and magic hasn't got any logic to it. That's the yeah. whole point. But it's like it affects the multiverse if it goes wrong. So cut. 
I would expect it to affect Marvel yeah, that, going forward, but you know. Yeah, it's just yeah, it's just like you'd have to believe that since Peter made a you know a standard decision instead of saying oh adding all these extra stuff to it, it did what it was supposed to do. I uh, have to interrupt because I do have to cut out. I do have to get to work here soon. Uh, thank you guys. We for were about me to on. wrap up anyway, so that's yeah. fine. oh cool. <laughs> so impatient, Jared. Go. Yeah. I'm sorry. Go. Someone has to take Go. care of these drunk hillbillies. Oh, All right. Well, well, we'll use that as the as the place to stop it. Then. So, thanks everyone yeah. for joining. I apologize for this. I really do. I do apologize mm-hmm. to you joining me and everyone listening. I do apologize. So yeah, I don't uh, apologize for it. it's a damn good show. <laughs> <laughs> but thanks, Jared. And Ricardo, thank you for last minuting this show. I know I only gave you a day, but thank you. I, I mean, it, at least it's like early in the day because if this was like at twelve o'clock, I'm like, yo, I'm gonna have to skedaddle. <laughs> hey, yeah, it it works. You know, I I enjoy pinch hitting. So again, thank you very much. So yeah, uh, thanks everyone for joining, and we'll catch you next week. Hopefully, I'm moving back so he can run this ship as it's supposed to be run and not my haphazard i have nothing to talk about why okay probably won't have anything to talk about next week (laughs) probably not so yeah bye-bye